Hi, this is Brooks Williams, and here's a demonstration as to how to play my guitar instrumental Frenzy at the Feeder. Now, there's a couple things to, to state right up front that, that, that really have an impact on this, on playing this piece. And the first is, uh, it's in dadgad tuning. So D, A, D, G, A, D. Gives it that lovely Celtic overtone with a little bluesy vibe thrown in. Uh, the second thing is I'm playing this instrumental with a flat pick and I'm doing it with the, what they call the hybrid style of picking. So sometimes I'm Travis picking with the pick and my fingers. So I get a kind of a Travis finger picking feel, but at other times I'm strumming and you'll see what I mean as I move along. But, um, but it can be played just by finger picking and I've done it, uh, but I prefer, uh, the rhythmic opportunities the flat pick offers me so something to keep in mind but it can be adapted I've done it so um, anyway we're gonna start in this uh, this long a section that has quite a few little mini sections in it and the first thing is uh, this is the Travis picking section it's very melodic uses chord shapes and it has this alternating bass so I'll slow it down here's the first figure on the second string and the first string. Now moving up. And again. And you repeat all that again. I'll speed it up a bit just so you can see it. Now here's our first shift up to some chord shapes. They look like triads on strings three, two, and one. That's frets seven and five. And then 10 to eight, same shape. Five to three, same shape. Seven and five, same shape. Three and one, same shape. Five and three, same shape. And then here's this riff that I use a lot. I played it just a second ago. It looks like I'm tracing out what would be a D chord if this were standard tuning, although it's not a D chord. That's what it is, dadgad. All right, so it does that again. Then it repeats that opening theme again. You'll get very good at this. And that upper bit. Now here comes a little bluesy bit. I'm gonna do a So that shape, it looks um, looks a little bit like a D. I'm on strings three and two, second and third fret. Then I'm up to frets four and five. A little pull off, and then the same uh, sort of chord shape, if you will, again. Tenth fret, fifth fret. Well done, you've made it through the first big section. Now here's the second section uh, following on from this, some chord shapes. Here's one that looks like a D. So 
how that goes. Now here's where we're moving into a section where I'm going to use the pick more. It's a little bit of a Michael Hedges thing, shifting into that gear. Those are octaves on strings five and two, third fret, fifth fret. Octaves on strings six and four, and uh, that's frets four, fret five, so. That's a little hammer on, open strings, fingers down on the fourth fret, strings six and four, fifth fret, same strings. 7th fret, same strings, 10th fret, same strings, and then a harmonic. Harmonic again, but at 7th fret. And then false harmonic at the 8th fret. So you've made it through a good chunk of the song. We're going to repeat the opening theme. So it's back to this. That little melodic figure. right into the bluesy thing. Here's a little new section as part of this. Just pull off, so I'm starting at fret seven, and I'm going seven, five, four, open. Little triplets. riff again. And here we're on our way out now. Fifth string, third fret, second fret, first fret, open. again I'm on, I'm on string six and five I'm at the fifth fret it's like a power chord third fret second fret and now I'm going to do a real syncopated part that's going to be a variation on the theme but I'm going to play the melody on the fifth string rather than the second string Open, two, three, two, three, five, three, five, seven, ten, eight. I do it 
three times. The last time I do it, I add the octave in there. So I'm going to play the same notes on the second string. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my pick to strum all six strings, but I'm going to try to mute all the other strings, but strings five and two. It takes a little bit of work, but you can do it. Just let the back of the hand here rest on the string. It's a great sound though, isn't it? It's like you got an octave pedal. And now here I do a pull off descending run and it might take a bit of getting used to, but I'm gonna go 10. Eight, seven, five, three, two, and then I'm going to do a bend. I'll, I'll, I'll play it at tempo. Power chord. Back to our theme. pull-off triplet thing. And that's it. So good luck and um, happy playing. <laughs>